Good afternoon to everyone. Thank you so much for spending your Sunday afternoon here with us. I would like to introduce Dr. Silvana Martino, who will be opening the program. And all of you know that Mrs. Sadler has been the heart of this entire organization. But there are a few of us who were with her from the very beginning, and I have the grace of having been one of those, along with her husband, Dr. Sadler. And um, so I've watched this organization from the very beginning. And I plan to be with it for a very long time, because my expectation is that it will continue to grow and to be extremely productive. Dr. Giuliano is currently Executive Vice Chair of Surgery for Surgical Oncology in the Department of Surgery at Cedar sinai Medical Center. Now, all of that's just one title. Uh, it took me a half hour to get through it. Dr. Giuliano? The thyroid gland is a butterfly-shaped gland right in the middle of your neck. It's just below the Adam's apple. It has two lobes, one on each side. I guess we don't have a pointer up here, but you can see the two lobes. And the name thyroid, is from the Greek word thyros, that means shield, because the early anatomists saw that it had the shape of a shield. Our next speaker is Dr. Homoyoun Sanity, and Dr. Sanity is the medical director of the Breast Oncology Program at the Memorial Care Breast Center of both Long Beach Memorial and Orange Coast Memorial Medical Centers. Uh, today I wanted to talk to you about uh, breast cancer and uh, the main reason I'd like to talk uh, in this um, uh, particular pattern uh, because uh, I think we need to raise uh, awareness about uh, breast cancer. And when you look at this uh, graph, the, um, uh, this line right here is the actual um, um, mortality um, um, from breast cancer in women. And as you can see, it has been kind of flat up to 1985. 1986, and then um, it um, has uh, started to decline uh, roughly in uh, 1986. I would like to um, ask our dear friend of the community, Ms. Azito Shirazi, who is a cancer survivor herself, to come up and share with us her story. When I found out about my cancer, which none of us wants to believe it, you're right, doctor, everybody's in denial. Um, I was watching a movie, and all of a sudden, I felt like something is scratching here. I scratched and I felt something is underneath. So I searched a little bit more and I found out that something is there and it was a big mess. So um, I went to my doctor the next day and uh, he ordered a mammogram and then ultrasound and then end up biopsy and then found out that it's cancer. Thanks a lot to Mrs. Sadler I would like at this time to invite yet another cancer survivor who's made Pocky possible, uh, founding chair of uh, Pocky, Persian American Cancer Institute, Mrs. Sadler. Please. Hello, everyone. Welcome. So may I ask of all the survivors, please come up and join me. Come on, darling. Come on up. I'm going to ask a very special cancer survivor which has always helped Pocky to get where it gets right now. Uh, two years ago, with uh, the help of Dr. Tofig, Dr. Bui, Tower Urology, Cedars, uh, my PSA was high. It turned out I had an obstruction. Uh, I had surgery to remove it. I followed that with radiation. Uh, and I'm standing here today to tell you that my life is back to normal. So with the contributions and donations that we've received from every one of you from the community, we um, are able to raise the funds to pay for those um, kits, that the, for the marrow registry kits. So. <laughs> Dr. Imani here. Dr. Would you like to come up really quickly to tell us about your wonderful special gift that you have for all the ladies here? So I have put together 
these packages, these breast stuff exam packages, and I have donated them. I want every woman or any person who has a woman in their family to take one, please. It has a, a DVD that I've put together. It talks about breast cancer. It, it walks you through how to do a breast self-exam. It talks about mammography. So with that, I would like to introduce our special uh, musical uh, artist. Please help me welcome Arasha Avin. بنی آدم اعضای یک دیگرند که در آفرینش زیگ گوهرند ای چرا آخه هر بحانه از تو روشن Dr. Separ Raksar is board certified in internal medicine and oncology. He is a medical advisor to the Tower Cancer Research Foundation. And in the beginning, what promises to be an extremely bright career has been chosen to join the Tower Hematology Oncology Medical Group of Beverly Hills, California which is one of the premier treatment institutions in the country on the subject of cancer. We can't change our family, we can't change how old we are or how tall we are, but what can we do? There are some nutritional, there are some dietary things that we're gonna talk about. Body mass index or weight is extraordinarily important. There is significant amount of data that shows that weight gain before menopause is highly associated with an increased risk of getting breast cancer. Dr. Parviz Gadirian is visiting from Montreal today where he is the professor at the Faculty of Medicine at the University of Montreal, the adjunct professor in the Department of Oncology at McGill University, and the director of epidemi epidemiology research at the University of Montreal's, Montreal's Hotel Dieu. As uh, Dr. Roxar mentioned, we have two types of uh, causes of cancer, exogenous, which we cannot modify that, like genetic oxidative stress, inflammation, hormone, and exogenous causes we can modify that is tobacco, diet, infection, radiation, medication, etc. Thank you so much, Dr. Radir. Thank you. Hey, boy. 